Our Savior was overpowered by ferocious men at Calvary. Pastor Todd here with a devotional for October 27th. Psalm 22, 12, and 13 reads, Many bulls surround me, strong bulls of Bashan encircle me, roaring lions that tear their prey open, their mouths wide against me. His enemies are likened to ferocious animals, bulls, lions, and dogs. Bashan was an area noted for its well-fed bulls. I read about a man who was attacked by pit bull dogs, and I've read of David Livingston's being mauled by a lion. I'd rather not go through that experience. That was what Jesus felt like as he hung upon the cross while the Jewish rulers snorted their ridicule and false accusations. Even though he could have called 10,000 legions of angels, the Savior chose to suffer silently. Saint Athanasius wrote, He, the life of all, our Lord and Savior, did not arrange the manner of his own death, lest he should seem to be afraid of some other kind. No, he accepted and bore upon the cross a death inflicted by others, and those other, his special enemies, a death which to them was supremely terrible and by no means to be faced. And he did this in order that by destroying even this death, he might himself be believed to be the life and the power of death be recognized as finally annulled. A marvelous and mighty paradox has thus occurred. For the death which they thought to inflict on him, his dishonor and disgrace has become the glorious monument to death's defeat. (laughs) 